Now at the half hour, a three judge panel in Birmingham hearing arguments over whether a congressional map adopted by the Alabama legislature last month complies with a court order. So these same judges previously had ruled that the map lawmakers approved after the 2020 census violated the Voting Rights Act of the U.S. Supreme Court, upheld that ruling earlier this year. We want to bring in our Brendan Kirby now with more on this story. OK, Brendan, the plaintiffs are arguing the new map. It falls short. Yeah, that's right, Lenise and Shelby. They're asking the judges to reject the second map and order an outside expert to draw the lines in a way that will allow African Americans to elect a second member of Congress. When a federal court ruled that Alabama had violated the Voting Rights Act, it ordered lawmakers to create a second district that was majority black or something quite close to it. The map that Republicans in the state legislature ultimately approved had a black population of about 40 percent. Lawyers for the plaintiffs argued in court on Monday that that wasn't nearly good enough. Representative Barbara Drummond, a Mobile Democrat, agrees. If you look at what was presented to the court, it is very obvious that the state of Alabama is still defying this court as well as the Supreme Court ruling. What we want here today is fair maps that will represent blacks in Alabama. That's why we're here today. This is the map that Representative Drummond is talking about. The state argues that the Gulf Coast is an important community of interest and that Mobile and Baldwin County should be kept together. Alabama Attorney General Steve Marshall has said that the Republican plan is defensible and hopes a so-called special master won't be necessary. There's no direct statement in that opinion to create two majority-minority districts. We're not worried about the special master right now. But attorneys for the plaintiffs arguing that the court already considered that argument and rejected it. They say the only issue is whether the map that the legislature adopted complies with the court order. Democratic legislators favor a map that would split Mobile County. The city of Mobile and northern Mobile County would be combined with the rural Black Belt region and Montgomery County to form a second majority Black district. Meanwhile, the rest of Mobile County and Baldwin County would be combined with the Wiregrass in a district that runs clear across the state to the Georgia line. Alabama Democratic Conference Chairman Joe Reed says it's the only way. It's not going to work unless we have a plan with at least, with at least 53% black. 53%. Otherwise, we don't have a chance. The court will take additional written filings until Saturday. A ruling is expected soon because Alabama is on the clock. The state needs the district set in time for next year's election. Reporting live from the studio, Brendan Kirby, Fox 10 News.